If you want to add audiobooks and ebooks to your home media server, then you can be using an application called Lazy Librarian. It is similar to Sonar and Radar, where it can help manage and move files and folders, but it still has a little bit of manual work to it. For audiobooks, you can use whatever audio players you're using, Plex, Plexamp, Symphonium, whatever. However, you will need some sort of hosted reader. I would recommend Caliber Web. It's again, it's open source and free. It should support manga, comics, and ebooks quite well. In this example, I'm going to be setting this up on Unraid. Unraid is a really good operating system, especially if you're just getting into home labbing. It is paid. It's not too much. You can buy a lifetime license. You can buy a yearly license. Uh, there's a link in my bio if you want to uh, support the channel. Just in apps, go search Lazy Librarian. There is a Docker Hub and there is a TrueNAS app for this as well. When you're doing the install, whether it's in Docker, whatever settings you do, you will have to map the, where the downloads are going to go and where your eBooks books will go. Now, it default will give you a books. I, as you can see, I have it set up where I have a compute server and I have a NAS server and they're separated over a network. I've mapped the folders in here. Yours may be different depending on whatever situation you have, but I've separated audiobooks and books into two separate files. I recommend you do, or two separate folders, and I'm going to say you should do that as well to keep separation. Then save. Then when it's built, go into Lazy Librarian. So there's a couple of settings we want to do. Go to con first, go into your config. So go into config and I first want to go into processing and I want to set up the directory structure here. So downloads, books, and we set up audio books. Okay, then we want to save the settings. This is now making sure that Lazy Librarian is mapping the correct folders to what we set up in the Docker. Now I'm going to go into downloaders. I use transmission, so I would select transmission and I've already set this up, but you would put in the host, the port, the username and password. Don't change any of here. We've already set that up into downloads and then test and you should get a login successful. Great. Second step is our providers. If you have a uh, NZB or a Torzab, um, uh, any of these providers, I recommend adding, adding them in here directly. Lazy Librarian doesn't support Prowler, which is annoying. You can, however, just use the default uh, torrent providers. So if you hit test, it works. I'm just going to select them all and then um, we're good. Again, I recommend finding and using your own private um, NZB servers. It's going to work a lot better. Then we save changes. Now in the interface, there is a lot of stuff you can do. I won't go into it in detail. You can play around. Now we're set it up. We want to do a search. Uh, I'm going to search for Malcolm Gladwell. Then it's Gladwell. We found Malcolm Gladwell, the author, and it's added. So now if I click on Malcolm Gladwell, it'll start populating all of the eBooks it can find and the, and the audio books. So for instance, I want to find David and Goliath. If I click that, then I go eBook wanted. And you see up, up here, we have an option for, e for what we want. eBook wanted, audio wanted, both wanted. Hit whatever you like and then hit go, it will start to look for things. And now if I go to eBooks, you can see it is starting the process. And I believe also audiobooks, it's starting the process to go and find and download those services. And because we've set audiobooks, audiobooks will download into that audiobooks file and ebooks into the ebooks file. So there you go. Lazy librarian takes a little bit of um, playing around, but easy to use. And now you can have all of the ebooks and audiobooks you want.